royal host, what is this mysterious place with its bright orange branding and rotating floating sign? The building doesn't look like a Japanese building, but, but what is it? Is it a host club or is it a family restaurant? Let's find out. Well, welcome to Royal Host. Not a host club, but in fact, a family restaurant. You're gonna hear lots of sounds while I'm here. Children and parents and babies. It's also a place for business meetings and for moms to meet up when they drop their kids off at school and have coffee and, and uh, lots of older people will come in the morning for breakfast. Basically, it's a family restaurant. It's kind of like the local diner in a way, except it is a chain, so you can find them scattered throughout all of Japan. The menus are uh, intense. They're quite dense. There's a lot to choose from. Uh, there is a breakfast menu, but it finishes at 10 a.m. And I'm here in the afternoon time, so I'm going to be looking at their hefty, hefty, never-ending pilafs and pastas and, and potatoes and lots of pea items happening here. Omo rice and sandwich. Wow, I mean, like, there's pancakes. This is going to take me a while. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this menu. Hospitality restaurant, royal host. There is so much to choose from here. My goodness gracious. Oh, Marilyn Monroe came to a royal host. If it's good enough for Marilyn, it's good enough for me. We've got salads. Chef's salad for foodies. More chicken salad. Steak salad. Meat and green. Hate the font changes, but nonetheless. Wow, it's going on and on and on. I mean, that's a pretty amazing meal. There is no way, I'm just saying right now, my family has never gone out for steak and shrimp and chicken and mussels and wine and garlic bread like this is like quite a feast this is pretty cool they got vegetable curry but they specifically say no pork and no alcohol which leads me to believe this is probably halal and because it's a kind of chain company you can look it up on their website online and i'm sure they will have a whole section explaining what this is very cool crab and salmon roe and tomato cream sauce spaghetti you get the onion soup on the side salad and coffee jelly so these things where you see the hamburger steak and there's like this black pan underneath, these sizzling plates are super popular in Japan, especially at diners. And this hamburger steak is not the same as a hamburger. And I confess, I have never tasted it. They sometimes call it like a hamburg instead of hamburger, but it's not the same as the hamburgers we make. Okay, I'm getting the hint that I need to flip through this at a rapid pace because it is going on and on and on. <laughs> And on and on and on is never ever ever gonna end. And I have a special menu over here that I haven't even started on. Okay, all right, you guys, it's overwhelming. All right, it's been like 20 minutes and I have finally decided what I'm going to get. Because it's their 50th anniversary, they have this specialty menu. It says like, you know, 50th on it. So I'm picking from their special volume two menu. I'm going for this set right here. So I'm getting omo rice with a special um, creamy sauce on it and crab. It's gonna come with like a cold consomme with salmon roe eggs. And I'm also gonna get steak on the side and a croquet. And it's gonna come with a salad and a little like a demi glaze sauce. And if we go all the way down to the bottom, I had to make choices for what to get on the side. And I have decided to go for the um, onion soup and drink bar set because the onion soup looks bomb diggity and I think Marilyn Monroe might have had it. So that's what I'm ordering and I think it's a freaking feast. It's a good thing I only had yogurt for breakfast. <laughs> so family restaurant menus tend to have these little sections at the bottom where they give you set options. So we've got like a, this is a rice set which means you get rice and a coffee on the side. And this one gets a soup and rice and coffee. And this is dessert and coffee. This is dessert and that really famous, um, I guess the French soup must be super famous. I have to try it and rice. And then here, this is the drink bar set. 
Drink bars are really interesting in, in Japan. They're unlimited soda, or they do iced tea, the coffee. That's amazing that they have different menus to just be like, Oop. So cool. I don't know what this is or this is. I'm wondering if you press it and it like blends the two together. There's only one awful way to find out. Uh-oh. Lots of things to choose from. Mint lemon, tropical tea, iced coffee. Awesome selection of tea. It's just like so much to choose from. Huh. And they have a coffee machine. So the drink bar is kind of the unique thing at a lot of these family restaurants and you're either getting water or you're getting the drink bar and they might have different deals for the time of the day that you come in. So I think this is like a half price uh, lunch kind of deal but generally speaking you pay for the drink bar and then you can get unlimited anything and they have a lot of different teas to choose from. So this one here is for if you just want the drink bar. So like maybe you're coming for a meeting and you just want to get, you know, drinks while you're on a call or something. I mean, I don't know, look at all these desserts. You might as well get a dessert while you're here. I've returned from the drink bar. Uh, on one side here, I have delicious mint and lemon infused water. And on the other side, I have lemonade of some kind. There are so many drinks to choose from and because it's like an unlimited amount of drinks, you can try a lot of things like Kalpas. Have you ever had Kalpas before? Now's your chance to try out some Kalpas. Have you ever had melon Fanta? It's really good, but very sweet. So it's kind of nice to have a little bit of it, right? You can just kind of go back and taste it and go like, wow, I can see through time. They even had like uh, selections that you can blend. So it looked like it was like Coke plus Fanta or like Coke plus lemonade and the machine will automatically do it. I also noticed that they had four to five different languages available. So you can switch between English, they had Korean, they had either Mandarin or Cantonese, Japanese, and they had that on the coffee machine as well. So it's kind of a cool way to try different things out. And the tea selection. Like, let me, like, one, two, three, four times, there's 12 different teas to choose from. Kind of a nice way to have dessert and a bunch of different teas. And you better believe I'm gonna be rinsing the coffee at the end of my meal. Or maybe I should do some crazy things. Just have a coffee mid-meal. Is that too crazy? Anything can happen. はい、ここで。はい。えっと、オニオングラタンスープセット。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい
it's nice sometimes to have a leaner, less fatty meat because you do have things like Akito Gyu and Kobe Gyu available in Japan. But they're so creamy and fatty that sometimes you just want something like meat without it being intensely creamy and buttery. The intense and creamy and buttery was balanced out though because the omu rice was all cream sauce. So normally it's kind of like ketchup, a little bit like simple home cooking tomato tastes. Uh, but this one had this really lovely creamy, really lovely? I'm leaving it in. Really lovely creamy sauce um, with a little bit of like crab on top. And so each bite was kind of like eggy, ricey, creamy. It was, it worked. And the cream crab croquet was the creamiest of all. What other seeds can I get in there? It was crabulous. It was cryptacular. No, it was crundleful. It was a crundleful crab croquet. It was all like a cream that was really soft and squishy. Like it shouldn't have been able to be contained by the outside of the croquet, but it was. I don't think it needed the tartar sauce because there was like so much cream going on. And the salad was the weakest point, but that could be because I just don't really like salad. What a nice meal this was. Is it the best meal on the planet? Not like the best meal on the planet, but I don't have any complaints. I'm not like, oh, I can't believe I bought this. So my friend ordered the hamburger steak and she was nice enough to let me try a bit of it. And basically it's a blend of Japanese black beef and domestic black pork. And they have a, a, like a creamy garlic sauce that goes on top. And then on top of that, they have this kind of like buttercream demi-glaze soy sauce that pours on. And let me tell you, it was delightful. I will definitely order one of these to myself next time. Listen to that sizzle. Now, although this was a lot of food, I am still gonna order dessert because look at this beautiful menu. Are you seeing this gorgeous seasonal strawberryness? I, I can't leave without trying one of these parfaits, right? It's like, my phone ringing? Hang on a second. Hi, Martina, it's uh, business Martina calling. Hey, Business Martina. How's it going? No, no, no. I'm, I'm actually right in the middle of uh, filming a video. I'm not royal host. No, no, that's a host bar. Uh, this is a family restaurant. No, no, that's Oron Host Club. That's like an, an anime manga. Yes, they all do involve boys being hosts, but this place... Yeah, there, there, was, there are boys here, but they're not. And they just... Why do you know so much about host clubs? Wee 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 wee. Oh, okay. Wee. It's Tokyo on the line. I gotta go. Talk to you later. Wee 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 wee. I've been living and exploring Japan for a while now, and I'm thrilled to announce the launch of my very first digital travel guide store. I've spent years gathering pins to my favorite shops and areas, and now they'll be available for you to build your own adventures while visiting Japan. When you purchase one of my guides, it will include a personalized online map with my hand-picked recommendations. I've included directions, photos, voice notes, and every place listed has my personal travel notes. The info box contains the link to my travel guide store, and I've included a free guide that you can check out and use right away. I'll be adding more guides to the store throughout the year, including expansion packs to all the Tokyo Tours video series. I'd love to hear suggestions for the types of guides you'd find useful, so please let me know in the comments section. Now where was I? Oh yes, let's order dessert. <sighs> Strawberry brulee parfait. It's beautiful. You know what it says? You know what I hear from it? Am I not Instagram worthy? You are. You are indeed, my fine friend. Perhaps you might be too tall to fit within the square confines of it, but I think you're a pretty nice beaut. Yeah. But I'm gonna have to eat you. Ooh, a little bit crispy up top. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going in. Mm. Get out of there, greenery. I don't want you here.
Well, that was terrible. Terribly delicious. I'm a little bit shocked. I mean, you see things in pictures and you're like, it looks like that, but will it look like that? And this looked exactly like that. It was spectacular. The creme brulee up top was delicious. There were layers that I can't even describe. Fluffy, icy, cold, custardy. There were pecans hiding inside there. There were like cookies and stuff. I mean, if you're not gonna come for the lunch or, or the breakfast, then um, maybe come for the dessert. But you know what? Don't take my word for it. Why don't we take a look at some of the Google reviews that people have left in Japanese and have been perfectly translated by an automatic robot into English. I ate breakfast a little extravagantly. It was delicious. In a calm atmosphere, Roho with a little better meat. Along the ring eight, the window sheet shakes when a large car passes. I went there for the first time in a long time, but I realized again that the royal host is exceptional, even though it is a family restaurant. It's expensive, but it's delicious. It took me a long time to choose the menu lol. Visited the royal host after a long absence. That? Was this just a steak? But it was delicious. The iced cocoa at the drink bar is also quite good. The royal host is not near my home, so I visited when I went out. I should have stopped the drink bar for a while, but I was revived. I don't drink much, so I don't order. The photo was a Japanese set meal in the morning. In the morning, there are many elderly people, including couples like me. I like it because it has more breakfast menu and contents than other family restaurants. I go when I want to have a slightly rich dinner. It's a restaurant with good performance, such as hamburger steak and beef steak, that even families go to. A couple of extra things about Roho, as I said in the uh, Google review section, which I love, Royal Host Roho. Roho usually has parking because it's a family restaurant. So not all of them do, but I would say like majority of family restaurants that I've walked past or biked past will have a parking lot because families come in cars. You can also park your bike. So if you're renting a bike or if you live near one and you want to adventure out, bring your bike and park, which is nice. And if you'd like to go on some more adventures with me in Tokyo, make sure you check out King Kogi, my YouTube channel. I just put up a, a new beginning to my series called uh, Tokyo Tours. I hope you can enjoy them. There's going to be more to come. And there's a really, really long ass cooking video up as well. It's like 30 minutes long or something. <laughs> okay, I think I better bike off this meal um, because uh, I'm feeling quite sleepy now. <laughs>